Hey guys! Hitting cross court is one of the most common drills in tennis. Everywhere in the world you go and you see people practice, usually the first thing you see is that players will warm up down the middle and then they'll start hitting cross court for a couple of minutes on every side. Now, hitting cross court in and of itself is not a good drill or a bad drill. It's really all about what you make out of that drill. Just like with any drill, you can have the best drill in the world. If you're not performing it right so that it challenges you in the right manner, the best drill in the world is not really going to help you. And if you do it right, a very simple drill like hitting cross court can be extremely effective. So, in order to use hitting cross court effectively, I think it is very important that you recover back to the middle. What I see all over the world is that players, they hit cross court and they're just standing there and not moving back to the middle, which is really not very realistic in comparison to when you're playing a match. So in order to avoid that, I like to have my students move back to a certain point um, close to the middle of the court. In this case actually not all the way to the middle because they're hitting cross court and that's when you don't recover all the way to the middle. That's because of the geometry of the tennis court. Now so let's have a look at this short video of my student hitting cross court and every time after she hits the ball she has to recover back to the middle spot and that makes this drill a lot more effective and a lot more intense. Okay, so as you can see, um, these two players are hitting cross court. I've put down these two yellow markers for my student Sonia as a visual reference. Um, the goal is for her to try to recover to that spot after every shot. Now, they're playing at a high speed and um, she's not going to make it all the way back after every shot, but that's alright. The idea is just to try to come back there as well as possible after every shot. And um, what you'll see is if you do this, um, hitting cross court, the basic cross court drill is just going to take on a very different dimension. It's just going to be a lot more exhausting, a lot more intense. And I think this is a lot more realistic than just hitting cross court and standing around, which is also common. So I definitely think you guys should give this a try.